Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be evaluating 3 to the power x when 3 to the power x squared is equal to 2 to the power log 2 with base 3. So we're going to find a numerical answer here obviously and let's see how we can handle this. Now I have 3 to the power x squared and I want to get 3 to the power x. Can I just square root both sides? I think uh, this came up in some of the comments that people were trying to raise uh, an exponential expression to another power and then they were kind of, you know, um, multiplying it incorrectly. So let me go ahead and tell you this first. If you square root 3 to the power x squared, you do not get 3 to the power x. Because you're not square rooting the exponent, you're just dividing it by 2. Obviously, there are cases where these two can be equal for certain values of x, but not in general. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to simplify our original expression as much as we can, maybe try to find x from there, and now we're going to substitute that into our expression. I'll be presenting one method. If you know of any other methods, please let me know in the comment section down below. Okay, so now, how am I going to simplify this? Well, since uh, I have a 3 on the left-hand side as our base, and on the right-hand side I have a logarithm with base 3, to me it makes sense to use the logarithm base 3. Okay, so let's go ahead and log both sides, both sides, base 3. And then we're going to be getting this. And then, using the properties of logarithms, so what does that tell us? You have a power, you can move it to the front. You have a power, you can move it to the front. Let's go ahead and use those properties. This gives us the first one, x squared times log 3, 3. The other one gives us log... 3, 2 times log 3, 2. So notice that on the right hand side we're getting the same thing twice. So when we multiply something by itself, we're going to get that squared. On the left hand side, we're getting something like log 3, 3, which is 1. So we can totally ignore this part and write it as x squared. So let's go ahead and do that next. So this is what I'm getting from the left hand side, x squared. And on the right hand side, I can write my expression as log 2 with base 3 squared. Now, as you know, if x squared equals y squared, then this equation has two solutions, either x equals y or x equals negative y. Just like the absolute value. If you square root it both sides, you would get absolute value of x equals absolute value of y, which would give you the exact same thing. Great. So from here, we're getting, obviously, we're talking about real numbers here, right? So we're keeping it real. So I can write the following. x is either log 2 with base 3 or x is negative of the same thing. Okay. So they are opposites obviously because when you square them you'll get the same answer. So this is the x value but remember we are trying to find 3 to the power x. So let's go ahead and substitute. If x is the following, then 3 to the power x is going to equal 3 to the power log 2 with base 3. And from properties of logarithms, this is equal to 2. Now, what does that property tell us? Well, the property tells us that if you have a to the power log a with base b, then this is always, oops, I kind of messed up the basis. This should be log b with base a. Sorry about that. I don't know why I use a as a base, but anyways, this would equal b. So we use that property, and this property is very easy to prove. You can basically get this and set it equal to x, and then log both sides, you know, with base a. And then from here, you're going to get uh, that b equals the same thing as x. Okay, so that's easy to prove. But what this tells us is that 3 to the power x becomes 2 from here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other one. Now this one isn't that nice because I have a negative and I don't want to do, uh, deal with negative. So why don't we just move it back, like here, make it a power. So I can write this as log th um, 2 to the power negative 1 with base 3, which means log 1 half with base 3. So now I can go ahead and replace x with that. And using the same property of logarithms, this just becomes 1 half. So we're getting two values from here because we were looking for 3 to the power x, remember? 3 to the power x is either 2 or 1 half and 
This brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care and bye-bye.